a standard evaluation that is performed in a patient with an intractable seizure disorder is specifically designed to determine the etiology or cause of the seizure activity, the classification of seizure type, and what treatment strategies may be effective in reducing seizure tendency. I emphasize to patients and referring physicians that individuals are not specifically evaluated for epilepsy surgery alone, but rather undergo an evaluation that may decide on what appropriate treatment options are available to that individual. This is because patients may be referred for surgery and not be appropriate candidates for epilepsy surgery, or other treatment options may be more effective in reducing seizure activity. The standard evaluation would include an EEG recording, an MRI head seizure protocol, and inpatient video hyphen EG monitoring. The monitoring is used in concert with the remainder of the evaluation to localize the site of seizure onset and determine appropriate surgical candidates. The goals of treatment, be it medication or surgery, is for the patient to be seizure free, to not experience any adverse effect, and to have no lifestyle limitation. Video EEG monitoring at this institution largely consists of inpatient monitoring in the epilepsy monitoring unit at St. Mary's Hospital. There is a dedicated adult and pediatric epilepsy monitoring unit. We currently monitor for a number of medical reasons. This may include spell classification, classification as seizure type, or surgical localization. There are several features available to us in the epilepsy monitoring unit that are very advantageous in evaluating patients with epilepsy. One is computer assisted EEG recordings are performed. Second is we have dedicated personnel available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to monitor the patient, ensure their safety, and make certain that the technical quality of the recording is excellent. Finally, we have uh, inpatient uh, SISCOM studies that are performed. And SISCOM stands for Subtraction Ictal Spect Co-Registered to MRI. This was a protocol that was developed at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. Patients undergo a imaging study at the conclusion of their seizure that may serve to localize the site of seizure onset. And this has proved to be very effective in patients who are otherwise not been determined to be a favorable surgical candidate for a variety of reasons. Finally, we have a dedicated uh, epileptologist in the adult and pediatric epilepsy monitoring unit with trained fellows that work with us to provide the patient excellent care. I think the importance of the EEG laboratory is the volume and the experience of the individuals who are performing the EEG interpretations. We do approximately 3,700 EEG recordings each year at the Mayo Clinic. We do almost 2,000 inpatient video EEG monitoring sessions per year. Importantly, the demographics has changed and there has been a substantial increase in the number of patients who are in the childhood or pediatric age group. This reflects the addition of new key personnel, both physicians and coordinators who work with children with seizure disorders. The experience of the individuals in the inpatient video EEG monitoring unit is very important to ensure the safety of the patient, obtain the necessary information to make a decision regarding epilepsy care, and finally to provide a strategy to determine both short-term and long-term treatment options for these individuals.